Good everyone. My name is Graphics. In this video, we want to reproduce the figure that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen in oblique projection. Now, the figure you see at the right hand side of the screen is in isometric, but we want to reproduce it in oblique projection. Now, one thing you need to understand in oblique is that what we have an horizontal line this way. See that we also have a vertical line this way. Hope you can see that now. But there's something unique about the oblique projection, it is inclined at what 45 degree. So you, when you're dealing with oblique projection, you work with what your 45 degree set square are all together now. Now I can decide to draw the 45 degree at this axis, and I can decide to draw it at this axis. Whatever I do, we are all on the same track, right? Depending on how the question look like. So if I choose at this direction here, let me draw it here. My 45 degree at this direction. So the angle between here and here is what 45 degree and this is representing my height so i don't need this i'm only working with this and this is that the key so let me just put this so you see what i'm talking about the angle between here and here is an angle of what 45 degree this is 45 degree is that the key now, if you look at the diagram closely, it's covered that um, the height is 70, the base is what? 70. All the sides are what? 70. So we know half of 70 is what? It is 45. Am I correct? It's 35. So I can easily just save myself the stress or just pick up the 70 this way from 0 to 70. From 0 to what? To 70. Hope you can see that from zero to seventy, and I'll place it at this point. I'm going to mark seventy. I'm also going to mark seventy, and I'll mark seventy. You can see that, and I will take it up this way from this point. I'll move it up, and from this point, I'll move it up. You can see that and I will take my C square my T square I'll come to this point I'll close it up and I'll come to this point I'll close it up with your 45 degree so whenever it comes to this side I use 45 degree so here also because all the lines must be parallel to each other Right, this line was parallel to this, just like this is parallel to this. And I'm going to close it up since I use this to draw this point here. I'll come here also, I'll do the same thing here too. You can see that. So, let me take it out, bring it out because this is the box that we have brought out already before we draw the circle. So, from here to here, it's taken. From here to here is also what second from here to here is also what second then we have this also from here to here is also what second from here to here is also what second here to is what second right and here also is also what second and here is also what second and here also is also what second so this is a box right in oblique projection 
all the angles that you're seeing are 45. That is, if I should come here and I project here this way a little bit, the angle here is about 45. Oh, good. If I come here also and do here also, so the angle at this side is given as about 5 degrees. They are parallel to each other. Now, the next thing we want to do is to draw the box, the circle at this point, right? So, what we'll do, the first thing you do both, either it is in isometric or in, in um, oblique, get the center of the plane in which you want to um, place the circle on, right? So, we are using this plane here, right? We have three planes this plane, this plane, and this plane. So, I'm using what? This plane. And remember, it is also inclined at what? At 45 degree. I will together now. So, I'll get the center of it. So, the center of it is 35. This is how you draw your circle in oblique. So you come here to here, 0 to 35. Can you see that? I come here also from 0. Well, I don't really need to do that. I'll just come and my point here, my city square. And from here to this point, faint line. I'll do the same thing here too, from 0 to 35. You now come here, so let's parallel. This is 35, this is 45 degree. Here, also, I'll do the same thing to 45 degree front line. So, they are meeting at this point, right? Now, since it's an oblique, this is what you do. We are giving the diameter of the circle here to be what 50. You have to just measure 25 here. So, 25, 0 to 25. You can see that. 0 to 25. And I'll place it at the center here. I'm going to mark 25, 25, 25, and what? 25. You can see that? So we've got another this point. And I can easily start naming the point there that we see in this fashion. These are the points we've got in here. Right? I'm going to change them together. So if I should draw this this way and this this way, then I'll close it up because you need a box to draw a circle. Then from here to this point, then from here to this point. You can see that. I can call it to be my A, B, C, D. You can see it should be E, F, G, and H. Let me call the center point to be what? R. I'm only doing this, you don't have to do that. Just to explain to you. Now, what I'm going to do here is that the midpoint of each line, the midpoint of C, to A is F, right? So I'm going to draw a perpendicular line from the point of F point. And now, please, this is what I'll do. Place my, uh, draw a 90 degree from point F. Make sure that it is correlating with A, with C, A, this line here. So I'm using zero. So the line of zero should be correlating with that line so that to form 90 degree. Can you see? This is F and I'm putting my zero to be on that line. Then I'm going to take it in. Let's just see you take it what in. Can you see that? Then I'll come to the other point also. I'll do the same thing too. At between A and B, this midpoint is H. So I'll place my zero on the line of A and B this way. Can you see? You can see that? And I'll draw it to touch here. To be going in. So we've got in a new point, I'll call it my point word W. Can you see that? I'll come again between C and D, the midpoint is E. I'll place my 0, 0 or any line of the choice to correlate to that line. So you can see it's correlating. Then I'll draw another line to be going inward. All together, it will be going what? Inward. Then I'll come to G, remaining G. Since D and B is G, so I'll make it to correlate with the line of G. B, G this way. 
can you see that so if i place it there make sure you place it well it will come in here this way so it is touching here this way i'll call it to the word z so what i'll do is i'll place my compass from z to what to g and to connect to e can see that z to g to connect to e this way now come again give that a little bit so this is what i'm talking about so i'll place it here You see that? Then I'll come to this point. This point you see here where the line meets. I do it for this with so the meeting at this point here. I'll call it to be my um let me call it G. Where this line that is the line of Z and W and F meet with Z and E here. Then here also the same thing to meeting here, I'll call it to be what L and L, right? So if I place it at G to E, I place it at G to E, this way I'll be getting this. Hope you can see that. If I come to this, I'll be getting this. All together. What we have so let me take it out so this is what we have here this is how you draw your oblique circle right it's totally different from that of isometric circle but one thing you need to understand if i'm to draw from this plane as long as both of the sides here is 90 degree right as long as what they are 90 degree they're not at an angle you do it normally for instance now if i want to draw this same circle here Let's take the center of it. I'll take the center of it. So I would like the center of a plane figure. I'll just join the two end of the diagonals here. When join the two end of the diagonal of that figure, right? They are 90 degrees to each other. So this will be the center. So since both of them are 90 degrees, that's what you watch out for. So this side of an oblique projection is always normal. So I'll take half of the circle, which is 25. The is 25, right? I'll just place at the center here and I'll just draw the circle. So this is how you do this. So once the plane is here, anytime you're doing a preparation, the 90 degree side, the one that has 180 and 90 degree, you draw it normally. But as long as it is inclined at an angle, you're going to use this method here. So this is how you draw your circle in public production so if you have found this video helpful please don't forget to like subscribe and also share the video thanks for watching